Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I am almost done with my FIFA football lighting design. Okay, so I am about to celebrate now because I achieved the vertical and horizontal requirements. You can see I achieved 2600 uh, for the horizontal and 2015 for the vertical. And the requirement is 2500 and 2000. Unfortunately, <laughs> This is crazy because when I check my colleagues email regarding the requirements because I want to make sure that I complied everything so including the height the uh, maintenance factors um, all the other things the glares and everything and also the grid points so everything's fine and then when I look up in this one I check my height because my height for this FIFA is 35 meters on the first la uh, layer or level of the floodlights. So this one is 35 meters height. So, but then I check this one and it seems that it says here that uh, the tangent from, uh, to get the mast height for this foot FIFA football requirements, the degree of um, this mast will be 25 degrees from the horizontal. So by using the Pythagorean theorem, the Sokatoa, if you know that one. So you can identify your mast height by multiplying the tangent 25 degrees to the distance from the center to the pole or to the mass. So what I did is I double checked my CAD file. So actually this is the image and then I just created a CAD file. And then when I me measure it, it says it's uh, 99.67 meters long so I need to uh, multiply that 25 degree tangent to 99.60 meters long because I'm planning to put all the mass on outside the concrete stadium here you can see it's outside the circle is the initial or the proposed location of the mast and when I multiplied it online <laughs> Actually, I don't have the calculator here, so I just multiplied it. So tangent 25 degrees multiplied by 99.67. It says 46 meters. Oh my God. So it means I need to create a mast. The first level of the floodlight should be on the 46.47 meters height. And I actually check the mast height for the FIFA stadium, the regular one. And it says here that it's... Uh, 30 meters up to 50 meters height that is really high and oh my god and what I did is only 35 can you imagine 46 meters height on the first level of the floodlights so yeah so I should have checked this one first before uh, assuming the height of the mast so whatever I did for three days is gone now because I need to adjust it again. Actually, I can easily adjust all um, all those floodlights one uh, in a in a group. Like I could just uh, select all these floodlights and then adjust everything um, in the Z options here, the Z or Z uh, label here because it says forty four. So I can start by the 35 should be 46. I can do it one by one. I can easily get the result. But yeah, it's really not good because I made it incorrectly at the first uh, stage of my design. So yeah, I will do this one later. But um, this is what I'm just going to tell you. You really need to first check the height of your mast. Yeah. Actually, you need to find out the distance of your mass to the stadium, the proposed location. Like, you need to project it like this. And then from there, you can multiply that one into tangent 25 degrees or tangent 25. And then from there, you can now start your lighting design calculation. <laughs> and that is so crazy because I wasted my time for that. Yes, I did it incorrectly at first. All right, so that is what I learned today. And I'm just going to uh, finish this one. Let's see what will happen if I change the height. Actually, if I change the height, the overall uniformity will become better. This is my 
assumed idea but unfortunately my lax value will become lesser because it's higher than the original one so but let's see because right now my mast is like 9 by 10 so 9 in a row uh, 9 columns and uh, 10 floodlights in a row so 9 by 10 so it's 90 floodlights in one mast can you imagine that one just to achieve the horizontal and vertical 2500 lux anyway so let's just do it again and i will update you once i get the result again all right so see you again on the next video and of course don't forget to subscribe and enroll in my udemy courses later on i may be post this one or i, I already have one in my udemy i will update and add this one in my udemy courses all right so Oh, wait, but that one is Dialogs and this one is AGI. Anyways, I can just add it. All right, see you again in the next video. Bye.